Hello, John Robertson here. And um, people have been telling me that they think I should put up more videos having to do with how I work and about my work. And it seemed kind of weird to me to do that, but, you know, frankly, if I wait for it to be perfect, um, I'm never going to uh, get any of them done. So, screw it, let's just do something spontaneous. It's probably going to be messy, um, but hey, whatever. All right, so, first of all, this is my studio over here. That's my drawing board, and that's a bunch of books and DVDs and stuff above it which I, us I usually have one of those playing when I'm working. I'm not one of these people who really likes to work to music because it doesn't... It, I kind of drift, you know? Um, so it's be it, quite often instead I'll have a movie on because then I'll feel the urge to do something else besides watch it. It's a strange thing about the way my mind works, but I don't question it. It works. Anyway, um, so... As I said, I use the drawing board. Most of the time I use that just for penciling these days. And the reason for that is simple. It's because of the fact that I have cats. Um, and uh, my cats, they uh, decided to use my ink bottles for cat toys uh, in 2008. And uh, I got a carpet in a place I just moved into destroyed by that. So I decided to switch to a tablet and digital inking. So what I do now is I pencil it on the drawing table, but I, the inking is done after I scan it, and uh, then I do it in Clip Studio. It used to be Photoshop, but I got tired of Photoshop because it tended to crash on me an awful lot, despite how much uh, RAM I would put in my computer. Um, I don't know why this is. I wonder if other people experience this as much as I do, but um, one of the biggest things that has slowed me down for the last, oh, 10 years um, has been basically that my computer uh, just constantly freezes whenever I'm using graphics software, even Clip Studio, although it's, it, that's better. And uh, I will also say that Smith Micro has done a very good job with uh, get it, with making that um, work a bit better and much better ink um, options, but uh, at the same time, even it does that. Um, so lately, I just got kind of sick of this, um, and so I decided to just create some work with normal, ordinary art materials, um, like one does. Um, and so, I, uh, uh, interestingly, within uh, the last uh, ooh, three weeks, I've gotten more work done um, in a short space of time than I have in a decade. And I like using them. Um, it doesn't. It, the thing is, when you're inking digitally, it doesn't really feel like you finished it, you know? Um, whereas, I don't know, maybe it's just the physicality of it. I'm not sure if other people have the same psychological reaction I have to it, but digital inking just doesn't feel like real. I mean, the whole time it's basically just plastic scratching on plastic, and that's no fun. Um, whereas real materials are fun. So, let me show you some of the things I've done lately um, that has real materials. And some of these involve Susie Spreadwell, who is, by the way, available at Amazon on Kindle, I, uh, digital only until there's a collection. Um, and some of these involve my character Vladrushka, who thanks to content restrictions all over the place that some of you are familiar with that I've, I've been dealing with an awful lot of censorship, including uh, here at Patreon. Um, that's why my, uh, my posts that have my art in them have to be patron only now. Sorry about that. That wasn't my decision. Um, and uh, Vladrushka is a character I kind of had to abandon because she was designed to be explicit. Um, I had, uh, and uh, I at the time I was moving away from that kind of thing anyway, but now I have ideas um, that, yes, have explicit stuff in them, but also are more serious now, like the way I do with Susie uh, or Lulu, and um, I want to use her, but it's frustrating to me that I haven't. But So I decided uh, that, first of all, I would just draw her, and uh, there is going to be nudity, so 
uh, it, you might want to cover your eyes now um, unless they get scorched. Okay, so here's the first one. This is a pinup on uh, crescent board. It's sort of an archetypal image of Vladrushka. Um, and then after that, I decided to deal with uh, watercolors, which I've never done. I don't paint, and I'm not r really someone who's an expert at working with color. Nevertheless, I did, and so I produced this Susie painting. Kind of blasphemous, but I'm, ki I'm very proud of it. And then there was a second one. These basically depict Susie's uh, fantasies. She has these weird fantasies about um, God and the devil. And she's also just really sexually pent up because she's having trouble um, keeping her purity pledge. That's kind of the premise. And, and the whole point of the, of the the series is kind of to make fun of, you know, fundamentalist Christianity and lots of things connected to it. Um, so anyway, uh, I did this, and this is one of her little fantasies. This is difficult because I have to keep the camera in the pointing at me direction, and I can't change that in the course of the video. So, so there's that. And then there's this story I've had in mind for a while because um, I, I got to admit, Vladrushka is a little alive in my mind. Um, she, uh, and she talks to me. I don't mean like I hear voices. I just mean that as a character, you know how they say characters start to write themselves? Well, she, well, at some point when I was working on her a long time, she did. And she never really shut up, but I've had to keep those uh, ideas back. So I've had this idea for a story where she's chewing me out for not using her. So I decided to just go ahead and do it. And here is my first, um, inked, uh, really inked, uh, comics pages in 10 years. And these have since been colored and lettered, and you can see them in a separate post here at Patreon. Um, here. And there's more coming. There's five of these so far, and I did this in like a week. Which, again, not something that happens digitally. That's the thing, I thought that with digital it would make things go faster. Actually, I find it slowed things down considerably. So. I'm not sure if I want to keep doing it or not, but there's certain things about Lulu that I ha kind of have to keep using digital now, but because uh, my style has gotten so wrapped up with it, but I don't know. It's something I'm debating with myself, but I think these actually came out looking pretty fine, and uh, each of these only took me one night to do altogether. That would be pencils and inks, and later colors and letters. Twelve hours of solid work, but... Um, but that's but it produced that. Now here's where it starts getting a little hot. And she's basically trying to cajole me into using her in a story again. The the name of the story, by the way, is Why No Story. And then uh we she does this she gets to the point of being well, Vladrushka. This is the kind of thing Vladrushka does. And where it goes from there, well, not sure. But, and I realize it's awful to do stuff like that these days, but it's what I do. And, uh, sorry, something dropped. And I want to do it. So, if you could uh, give a little pledge to your Patreon, that would help considerably, because the thing about Vladrushka and uh, some of this th this more adult stuff is, it's hard to make a living at it because uh, I can't put it out as an ebook or as a print on demand, which I do with Lulu and uh, uh, and other stuff. Um, because uh, these days you can't be explicit, but I can be as explicit as I like here, if you pledge, and you get to enjoy it. So look at it as a subscription. Um, and I intend to do more of these, and uh, hopefully you'll want to see more of them. So, hope you enjoyed what you saw, and uh, I guess that's it. So, here's my stupid first uh, uh, first creator video for you, uh, showing you my stuff. Maybe I'll do more. 
Maybe I won't. I don't know. But pledge, and I might be encouraged. Anyway, thanks. Hope you enjoyed everything.